What's up guys, Jimmy here. Now, today is the last day of 2012. I'm really excited for 2013. I'm really excited for 2013. There's gonna be a lot of great games. And uh, so in celebration, I got my uh, suit on today to uh, celebrate this wonderful occasion. I put together a list of 50 top games I'm looking forward to in uh, 2013. So let's just get right into it. I'll make sure to include this list in the video description. I'm pretty sure it should be able to um, handle the, the 50 games, no problem. Uh, but there might be a couple games that I missed in this list. Definitely leave them in the comment section below and also leave in the comment section below what games you're most looking forward to. Like I said, guys, I'm really looking forward to it. There were some great games in 2012, but man, 2013 looks incredible. Um, you know, for all consoles and handhelds, PC, there's something for everyone. There really is, not just for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and, and the Wii U, uh, but also you have the Vita, the 3DS, and the PC. There really is something for everyone, and there's going to be a lot of great stuff for, um, you know, hand handheld, uh, other, like, mobile devices and phones and uh but this is going to be mainly f this is going to be for uh, the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, 3DS, Vita, uh PC, Wii U. Uh, anyway, ho hopefully I'm not missing anything. Anyway, let's get right into it. Um I'm just going to go down the list and I'm, I'm probably talk about some of these, get into detail maybe about some of the lesser known ones or ones that I'm really looking forward to. Okay, so these games are in alphabetical order or somewhat in alphabetical order, so we'll get right into it. Uh in at number 1, uh, is Aliens Colonial Marines, number two, Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, number three, Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel. Uh, this one's actually being uh, developed by uh, Visceral Studios, the same folks that uh, have developed the Dead Space series. Um, I really loved uh, 40th Day uh, Army of Two, and, and I'm looking forward to this next one. Uh, Battlefield 4, at, in at number four. Number five, being at a two for the Wii U. Uh, in at number six, Beyond Two Souls, the PlayStation 3 exclusive, uh, developed by the folks that were, were responsible for Heavy Rain. Uh, in at number seven, Bioshock Infinite. In at number eight, Castlevania II, Lords of Shadow. That should be a good one. Um, in at number nine, <clears throat> this one is probably going to be coming out because it was confirmed by the voice actor Captain Price. And that is uh, Modern Warfare 4, or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. You know, we have Black Ops 2. There'll probably be a Modern Warfare 4, uh, according to the voice actor. Um, but we'll have to wait and see on that. And at number 10, uh, for the PC, Company of Heroes 2. And at number 11, Crisis 3. And at number 12, Dark Souls 2. And at number 13, Dead Island Riptide. In at number 14, Dead Space 3. Um, that's going to be here pretty soon. In at number 15, The Devil May Cry Reboot. In at number 16, Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS. I know a lot of you guys out there are big uh, Fire Emblem fans. In at number 17, Fuse. Uh, this is actually uh, by Insomniac. It's going to be a multi-platform game. Not It's just not going to be a PlayStation 3 exclusive. It is a co-op shooter. Um, a lot of There's been a, kind of a lot of controversy on this game. A lot of people hating on this game. I love Insomniac. Uh, pretty much anything that Insomniac makes, I love. So I'm looking forward to that. And at number 17, Fuse. And at number 18, Gears of War Judgment. That's coming out in March. And in number 19, God Mode. Uh, God Mode is a uh, third-person shooter. Uh, it's published by Atlas, developed by Saber, uh, uh, organization by Saber, Saber Interactive, uh, Saber, I believe. Um, and they're responsible for Halo Anniversary, but it's a third-person shooter. It's actually going to be available, um, I think, in the spring for Xbox Live Arcade, PC, and PlayStation Network. And uh, it has some potential. Uh, in at number 20, God of War Ascension. In at number 21, GTA 5. In at number 22, Injustice, Gods Among Us. That one looks pretty sick. In at number 23, Lost Planet 3. In at number 24, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon for the 3DS. In at number 25, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. In at number 26, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This one looks sick. I love platinum games. It looks great. Uh, there's a couple different, depending on what country you live in, there's a couple different um, uh, 
limited editions for this. The one that I I like the most, the limited edition that I recommend the most, is the one, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but the UK Zavi or Zavi.com. There is a special edition or a limited edition available. That's that's my pick out of out of all the ones available worldwide. There's like two or three available. That that's the one I like the most. Okay, number in at number 27, Metro The Last Night. In at number 28, Nino Kuni by Level 5. That one's coming out this uh, January, which is going to have a great limited edition or Wizards edition. And in number 29 is one that a lot of uh, lists were excluding for whatever reason. It's the Wii U exclusive Pikmin 3. In at number 30, Remember Me. In at number 31, SimCity. In at number 32, Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. In at number 33, Snipe, Sniper, Wo Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. In at number 34, Star Wars 1313. That one looks kind of interesting. In at number 35, it, this one's for the Vita. It, lo it looks good. I think it looks really good. Soul Sacrifice. Uh, in at number 36, South Park, The Stick of Truth. In at number 37, Splinter Cell Blacklist. In at number 38, StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm. In at number 39, The Elder Scrolls Online. In at number 40, The Last of Us. In at number 41, Tales of Zillia. Uh, in at number 42, Tearaway. In at number 43, The Phantom Pain. Now, a lot of, I'm, not, I'm not too sure about The Phantom Pain, if it's going to be out in uh, 2013. If it, that, in fact, is a Metal Gear uh, Solid 5. You know, you already have Metal Gear, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which isn't, you know, it's being done by Platinum. But then you also have Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Uh, but anyway... Um, and in number 44, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Patriots. And in number 45, Tomb Raider. And in number 46, Total War, Total War Rome 2. And in number 47, Watch Dogs, which should be pretty sick. Um, and in number 48, Raymond Legends. Um, another great, if you're into platformers, this is, I believe, a Wii U exclusive, but it looks incredible, unbelievable. Uh, and in number 49, a wonderful 101. Okay, so this there is a game that an exclusive for the for the Wii U uh, that was shown off at E3. Um, it was Project P100. The name has been changed to Wonderful 101, and it, it kind of reminds me of like Pikmin, but you you've got all these superheroes. This is another one by Platinum Games. It's a Wii U exclusive, and Wonderful 101 looks great. Um, and then you have XCOM. Now, this isn't the, the RTS that was released in 2012. This is the, um, kind of like, a, it's been, sh there, it's kind of like been uh, put on hold or they had to kind of rework it. it. There was a trailer a while back released for it and it was like a, a first person shooter. There have been rumors that it's going to be more of like a third person squad based shooter, but I think it has a lot of potential. So those are the 50 games um, we're going to be broke, okay? That's just, that's just the fact. Dark Souls 2, um, I loved Crisis 2, you know, Crisis 3, uh, a lot of you guys out there that, that have a PC or into Company of Heroes have been really excited, maybe looking forward to Company of Heroes 2, uh, Bioshock Infinite, 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 uh, it's going to be here before we know it. Of course, you have GTA 5, um, if you're into fighting games, Injustice, Gods Among Us, um, uh, 3DS fans, uh, Luigi's Mansion, that game's going to be, I think, a big deal. Um, let's see here, what else? we got We got a bunch of other ones. Uh, it'll be interesting to see the Elder Scrolls online, how that do goes and how that pans out. Um, I don't think it's really going to sell that well, but I'm looking forward to Nino Kuni. Uh, it's just not going to do that well in the States, unfortunately. Uh, let's see here. Splinter Cell Blacklist. I am looking forward to that. StarCraft 2, Heart of the Swarm is going to be a huge hit, of course. Everyone, um, love the StarCraft that came out in 2011. I don't even remember what year it came out. Tales of Zillia, looking forward to that. Um, Tomb Raider, that's coming out in the spring, I believe. Um, March or April. I'm not sure. That one's going to be a really big deal. Uh, let's see. Gears of War Judgment. That's going to be great. It's going to be developed by, I think, people 
people can fly. Man, a lot of great games to look forward to, guys. Like I said, 2012 was unbelievable, but I can't wait for 2013, guys. Anyway, leave in the comment section below um, your thoughts on what you're hoping uh, to pick up in 2013. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up so I can know to make more of these types of videos in the future. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.